तर आपण सर्वच निशिकांतला मिस करतोय तू पण मग अशी म्हटलंच तसं जेव्हा पहिली फिल्म लिहिली गेली तेव्हा फॅमिली मराठी करावी हे निशिकांतचा विचार होता काय नेमकं त्याच्या डोक्यात होतं आणि आज जर निशिकांत आपल्या आजूबाजूला आहे तर तू काय त्याला मेसेज देशील आय थिंक निशिके बारे में जो बोलना था हमने बोल दिया जितना बात करो उतना कम है लेकिन ये अब मौका उनके बारे में बात करने का नहीं नहीं है इसलिए वी ऑल मिस हिम जैसे कि मैंने कहा अगर आज वो यहाँ होता तो वी वुड हैव बिन वेरी वेरी हैप्पी बट द शो मस्ट गो ऑन थैंक यू अजय सो ओवर यर टू वर्ड्स योर राइट ओवर यर फर्स्टली कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन यू दीम फॉर द एक्सेलेंट ट्रेलर Ajay sir my question to you is in early 2000s you did a film called Diwangi wherein Akshay Khanna was a criminal lawyer trying to frame you in the case and now you are doing Drishyam again he is a cop and trying to frame you how is it to reunite with him in a similar space and how did this casting happen uh casting i think uh, abhishek decided but uh, it's always fun and it's uh, we share a great rapport also uh, akshay and me and uh, and it's always great to work with a good actor and uh, because good actors bring out the best in you also and uh, we needed somebody like him so it's always it's it's great it's really great thank you hi this is vibha here 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 yeah. this side uh fabulous we had a wonderful time yesterday watching the film again uh i shared this with abhishek yesterday that uh, when tabu turns around and looks at uh, ajay and says ki she doesn't say anything but unki aankhon ne bata diya hamare ko it leads to the drishyam to so mera sawal ye hai ki ek maa ka pyar maa ka jo stand hai aur ek family ka stand to ab ye jo ek level pe hai isko justify karna matlab एक बहुत बड़ा टास्क है ये मतलब क्योंकि दोनों ही अपनी लेवल पे सही हैं और कहीं मतलब एक गलत भी है सो so, आप दोनों इसको किस तरह से एज एक्टर्स देखते हैं और इस इन कैरेक्टर्स को किस तरह से देखते हैं क्वेश्चन इज फॉर बोथ ऑफ यू यू आर फैंटास्टिक फैंटास्टिक ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू जैसा कि आपने कहा कि दोनों कैरेक्टर्स अपनी अपनी जगह सही है uh, एक माँ जिसका बेटा जवानी में यू नो स्किल्ड शी इज़ नॉट रेडी टू एक्सेप्ट कि क्या हुआ था क्यों हुआ था या उसका बेटा गलत है ये आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ द मदर्स आर लाइक दिस एंड विल बी लाइक दिस ऑलवेज तो हर कैरेक्टर इज राइट मेरा कैरेक्टर सही है क्योंकि uh, आदमी कुछ भी करेगा अपनी फैमिली को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए तो ये जो क्लैश है ये बहुत ज़्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग हो जाता है वरना क्या एक नेगेटिव कैरेक्टर होता है एक पॉजिटिव कैरेक्टर होता है तो आपको पता है कि आ, कौन जीतने वाला है बट इसमें जो क्लैश है दैट्स एन इमोशनल क्लैश सो इट्स वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू सो इट वाज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी मेरे लिए बहुत ही uh, मतलब uh, मुश्किल था बिकॉज ये कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इमोशंस हैं बहुत सारी uh, मतलब इशूज़ हैं इसके अंदर Uh, उसको सही भी रहना है शी हैज़ टू बी ट्रू टू हर प्रोफेशन ऑल्सो बट वो जो वो जो महसूस कर रही है वो तो महसूस कर रही है एंड एवरी थिंग दैट आर कैरेक्टर्स रजत कैरेक्टर्स फीलिंग माई कैरेक्टर्स फीलिंग अजय कैरेक्टर्स फीलिंग द फैमिलीज कैरेक्टर्स द फैमिली इज फीलिंग इज लाइक पार्ट ऑफ बींग ह्यूमन तो आप कई बार आपको मालूम होता है कि सही क्या है गलत क्या है लेकिन आप अपने जज्बात और अपनी फीलिंग्स से परे नहीं जा सकते हो नहीं जा पाते हो so i think that was the struggle of being meera deshmukh uh, on screen it's one of my most difficult roles most difficult uh, characters that i have played and i must must give credit and thanks to uh, jitu joseph monlal sir rasha sharat ma'am and for writing this character because it's very unusual uh, of, for writers to write these kind of roles and characters where you cannot you cannot say she's good she's bad she comes with an entire package of being right wrong good bad but finally you know that she's a mother who's just it's beyond her to be okay with losing her son thank you namaskar mera naam pankaj hai here here 
और मेरा सवाल हालांकि चूंकि पूरी टीम रिपीट हो रही है दृश्यम टू में अभिषेक अमिताभ और डीएसपी तीन नए लोग हैं इसमें तो इन तीनों लोगों से मेरा सवाल है एक तो डीएसपी से सवाल है काफ़ी बातें होती रही हैं हमारी किसी फिल्म का बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक बनाना गाने तो आप अच्छे बनाते हैं मेलोडी भी अच्छी बना रहे हैं बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक बनाना गोवा में सेट एक स्टोरी है जो आपके हैबिटेट से बिल्कुल दूर है उस कहानी का मर्म समझना उसकी आत्मा समझना उसके हिसाब से बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक तैयार करना कितना मुश्किल रहा और अमिताभ से सवाल ये है कि आपको एक फिल्म जो सुपरहिट फिल्म है दृश्यम उसके सीक्वल के लिए गाने लिखना कितना चुनौतीपूर्ण रहा और पहली बार आप लोग एक साथ काम कर रहे हैं आप और इस भी लवली क्वेश्चन सर मुझे तो समझ गया आपका क्वेश्चन लेकिन इतने आंसर मैं हिंदी में नहीं दे सकता हूँ इसलिए मैं इंग्लिश में एंड थैंक यू सर फॉर ऑल दिस सपोर्ट हीज ऑलवेज बीन सपोर्ट ऑफ मी फॉर वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम थैंक यू सर वेन मीडिया सपोर्ट्स एंड आर्टिस्ट सो मच आई थिंक दैट्स एन ऑल टूगेदर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी आई वुड लाइक टू गिव ए बिग राउंड ऑफ अपलॉज टू पंकज सर एंड ऑल्सो द मीडिया नाउ सर या फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑन दिस अकेशन आई वुड ऑल्सो लव टू एक्सटेंड एन अदर थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर लविंग माई सॉन्ग्स एंड ऑल्सो द बैकग्राउंड स्कोर ऑफ पुष्पा सो सर what happens is down south i'm already used to you know working on all the songs and the background score as well when we listen to a subject it becomes possible for a music composer to you know connect each and every song and then take the song to be a part of the scene and lot of uh, while i'm listening to the narration itself uh, it it makes it possible for me to think of which song could be the background score of this uh, particular scene or this background score could become a part of a song which comes in the climax of the movie you know things like that so like though the movie is set in goa so how i do the background score is so the background score is always set to the mood of the uh, subject written by the director whether it happens in goa or mexico or vegas wherever it happens there is a uh, there is a certain uh, mood and certain uh, emotion to every subject right so i follow that uh, uh, mood and the um, intensity of the subject and drishyam too has been um, Uh, very very intense subject and 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 it really inspired me to you know score music for each and every scene and uh, we also came out with some catchy songs which first i thought how will drishyam to have some catchy songs but then i always believe in the fact that the same song can be you know expressed in a hundred different ways you know you got to choose without losing the essence and the flavor of the original story we can still make a song that will be catchy and that's what we tried to do and abhishek parak sir also like he was very excited with the songs and uh, our amitab sir made it even more exciting with his lyrics sir amitab se jawab sunne se pehle aapne jo baat kahi ki gaane ka background music kaise kisi gaane mein tabdil ho sakta hai ye agar raj kapoor ki filme hum dekhte hain jab ek film ka background music agli film mein wo gaana ban jata hai exactly sir see it happened in a couple of my films also sir in when i scored in telugu and tamil so one background score particularly when it becomes a hit we made even uh, actually ida raja sir was one of those stalwarts who did that and made us used to that also sir so yes sir ji aapka sawal jahan tak yaad hai mujhe to फिल्म जैसे कि मैंने पहले भी कहा दृश्यम वन का फैन हूँ मैं मतलब पहले भी देखी थी कल थिएटर में आप सबके साथ ही देखी बहुत मज़ा आया और जब कोई एक चीज़ ऑलरेडी पॉपुलर होती है एक्सेप्टेड होती है हिट होती है तो उसके साथ जुड़ना जिम्मेदारी का काम तो होता ही है दृश्यम वन में विशाल भारद्वाज साहब और गुलजार साहब के गाने थे जो मैं उनका बहुत बड़ा भक्त हूँ बहुत बड़ा फ़ैन हूँ तो दम घुटता है और मेरी कार्बन कॉपी है तो ये बहुत फेवरेट गाने हैं मेरे लेकिन ये सोचने लगी है तो लिखना मुश्किल हो जाता है सो so, लिखते वक्त यही कोशिश करता हूँ कि बस मोमेंट में रहूँ और एक कमाल की कहानी है और कमाल का कंपोजर है हमारे साथ तो उनके साथ चेन्नई में मैं अभिषेक कुमार जी डीएसपी के साथ मिले बैठे और बस देखते देखते हंसी खेल में गाने बन गए तो आई होप आप लोग को पसंद आए जब आप सुने दैट्स ऑल no so i what am i what am i <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i have seen him since i like i think first film itself for me i was i don't I remember him calling bhaiya even now till now i call him that uh it was obviously very uh, i was a nervous moment for me when i went on my first shoot day okay i don't know how will i even you know tell him to do this because he even such a senior and actor since so many years and me just doing my uh, second film and it's going to be a little uh, kind of that kind of moment for me but i think he made it so comfortable even throughout the shoot 
I never saw him coming across the table of the monitor. We're standing there, just uh, uh, following what I'm telling. Uh, he exactly knew what exactly script required, so I think it was very easy working with him. Tabu Ma'am is a fab actor. We have all known her. Dekha inka kam to. मतलब I have such beautiful actor who are like this cake walk for them. Technically. अच्छा किसके साथ easy नहीं था वो बताइए. सच बता दो. श्रेया के साथ. श्रेया के साथ. सच्ची बता. I never said that. <laughs> no, I think all my actors, uh, everyone is standing here, uh, and Akshay who is not here right now, uh, it's been fabulous working with them, all of them. Uh, it, they read the script so well, they understood the character so well, and I think it was very uh, beautiful right on the set when we started working. It was a lot of love and it was a lot of fun. Ajay sir, towards centre. This side. Uh, first of all, congratulations to the entire team. What a spectacular trailer it was. Uh, one thing that I observed from part one and now the Drishim two that it's see, there's a scene where Kamlesh Sawant actually you know he thrashes the ladies. There's a scene which is being depicted and in the real life it's something which is unconstitutional and illegal. And such a scene is being portrayed in the film. How do you see this and what do you have to say about it? But that's what the film is all about. That they are pushing the bar a little to get whatever they want. Uh, they are not going about it in a very legal manner. And uh, if they were going about it in a legal manner, then there was no threat in the film. So uh, they are characters uh, who want vengeance and uh, they, would, they would go to any extent to do whatever they want to do. So that's where the whole fear lies with the family. And also, uh, the character Guy Tonde in part one, he was suspended for this kind of act. So again, that is up to personality it's of It's all personal character. for every character there, yes. not, not just for Tabu, but for him also. Yeah, it's, it's character. In part one, it's content. He's like all revengeful. He's now back again. And he will push all the limit to just get what he wants to. Yeah. Uh, uh, hi, this is Suhail here from Ancient Bollywood. Center, mein, sir, here. <coughs> Ajay ji, you are, as we have seen, you are very lucky with sequels, actually. You know, I mean, you have a lot of films, and then you have made a lot of sequels. Bane hai. Drishyam ke jo pehla part tha, was it decided right from the beginning like you know ke uh, wo jo last wala scene tha ke hum and were you so all confident about it like you know ke hum iska ek second sequel bhi banayenge aap jab bhi koi film banate hain uska ye nahi sochte ke iska sequel banega film jab chalti hai uh, hit ho jati hai logon ko bahut zyada pasand aati hai aur phir jab log uh, uh, OTT pe or uh, satellite pe bar bar film ko dekke fresh rakhte hain. Yeah. That is the time you decide ki you can make a sequel out of this. So, kabhi bhi koi bhi film jab aap bana rahe ho, ye nahi sochte ki iska sequel bhi banayenge. Uh, Uske liye pehle uh, audience ko picture pasand aani chahiye. Uh, sir, aapne jaise kaha tha ki Abhishek ko ke when uh, padhai ke liye ki <laughs> ultimately yeah, you have to come to... Bola, <laughs> maine bola tha padhai kar, uske baad phir jo karna hai. Correct. So, how do you find him now? Like he directed you in fact. Like you know, abhi he's, kitna number do ge aapko? He's done a fabulous job. He's done actually a fabulous job. Uh, shooting, baby, I could realize that. And uh, after I saw uh, portions of the film also, he's done a fabulous job. Now, the trailer is coming out from the So, I'm very, very proud of it. I'm very happy. Hi, Arun from NDTV. Hi, Arun from NDTV here. My question is for Abhishek. Uh, since this is a sequel and the first one was a great hit and there's always a pressure on the sequel, have you give it, given it some edge or you've intacted the essence to deal with that pressure? Uh, I don't think there was any need to change any essence or soul of the film. That's the more uh, paramount of the film, I think. We cannot touch that. But there is a treatment, there is a mood which I've given to the film, the vision which we attach to the film. I think that's a USP which we will, when you watch the film, you'll come to know. Even if you see the trailer, the specific tone, treatment, the performance you'll see, it's a little bit It's been put in there. But uh, yeah, soul uh, is something which we want to retain and which we have, I think, uh, stuck to. That's, I think, uh, which when you watch the film, you'll enjoy with the, with the treatment and the kind of thriller genre being pushed to another level in this film. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Hello. Hello. Hi, Ajay, sir. Amit Bhatia from ABP News. Sir, as we have seen in Drishyam, have you ever used filmy situation in real life? Or vice versa? You have to think about it. Maybe what is it? Why will you tell us? Yes, what is it, but I don't remember now. Hi, Abhimanyu, this side from Hindustan Times, this side behind. Tabu Ma'am, this is for you. When the first Drishyam came out, of course, it was a remake. But at that time, 
the consumption of south films was not as much as it is today due to ott and everything so this still this film was still new to the audiences now with the remakes having been watched on ott uh, with the sequels rather of the malayalam and telugu films how confident are you about the freshness of of this film for the audiences since two films have already come with a similar same plot on in different languages yeah but like uh, vishek said that the film has been treated in a very different manner and uh, there are a lot of characters added so there are a lot of lot of changes i mean uh, you won't see uh, akshay's character in the film and uh, gay gay tonde in the film so a lot of changes have been made like he said also keeping the soul of the film intact so i think when you see the film it's it's going to be very fresh for you so only when we started writing the film it's not that we just went and started shooting we took at least 7 months to write the film so there are a lot of changes which we tried to do which actually makes it very different than uh, the malayala man the other versions completely thank you we'll take one last question right there is none chal puch lu koi hai abhishek sir for you you know zyada direct karne mein zyada maza kise aaya ye puchta hu seedhe was it ajay sir nahi nahi sir wo wo abhi wo unhone thoda sa main puch raha hu ajay sir ya tabu ma'am dono mein se if you had to choose sir directors actor sir ye ye aisa look de rahe hain sir mere ko abhi main to bhasm ho jata hai yahan ji directors actor sir tera sawal bahut i swear main time ke liye mera muh band rakha question wohi wohi ye question hi nahi koi yaar itna maza sab ko direct kar rahe hain dono ke sath kyun nahi aa sakta matlab problem kya hai kyun nahi aata Okay that's all we have for you ladies and gentlemen you guys were awesome and give it up for Drisham too zordar taaliya ho jaye